Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. This 22-year-old woman has a history of severe bruxism and soreness in her jaw muscles when she wakes up in the morning. She has recently fractured part of a tooth. It is difficult to get sufficient relaxation of the patient's musculature to record centric relation. A slight slide in centric is noted. However, due to the tense muscles, it's impossible to determine the true magnitude of the slide. A semi-direct method for constructing a bite plane will be illustrated. This method was described by Dr. Shulman in the Journal of Prosthetic Dentistry, March 1973. An accurate maxillary cast and a separating liquid are needed. Undercuts related to the teeth have been blocked out with plaster. The area where the separating fluid should be applied is outlined. fluid should coat the entire area that is to be covered with wax. A sheet of hard base plate wax is softened in hot water. The softened wax is placed on the cast. It is pressed firmly into place and molded over the teeth. The excess wax is cut away while it is still soft and can be trimmed easily. Wax has been trimmed from the buccal and palatal aspects. The pattern should extend slightly onto the buccal surface of the teeth. A perfect fit of the wax to the palatal surface is not essential. The wax pattern is reheated in the water bath. The warmed wax is placed in the mouth and with the mandible in centric relation, it is tapped lightly into contact. This will record small imprints of the mandibular teeth. Observe the occlusal markings on the wax. With a warmed spatula, the occlusal surfaces of the wax are trimmed in the posterior areas. The wax is removed to the bottom of the imprints. A new centric record is made with this wax pattern. The imprints for the anterior teeth will maintain the vertical dimension. The occlusal surface of the wax is inspected. Wax is added palatally to the mandibular tooth contacts. The area of excessive contact of the lower anterior teeth is flattened. A plateau is fashioned extending about two millimeters posteriorly to the imprints of the mandibular incisors. The revised wax pattern is tried in the mouth. 
The mandible is tapped against the wax in centric relation. The unsoftened molar parts of the wax pattern will maintain vertical dimension. Inspect the occlusal surface of the wax and note the areas of heavy imprints in the second molar areas. The occlusal surface is trimmed down to the depth of the imprints in both the second molar area and the palatal anterior region. An alcohol torch is used to soften the wax. The entire occlusal surface of the bite plane is softened in this manner. The bite plane model is tried in the mouth. The jaws are tapped together in centric relation. At this time, only slight imprints corresponding to all mandibular teeth are visible in the wax. The occlusal surface of the bite plane model is flat. The pattern is placed in the mouth, and the positions for both maxillary cuspids are marked on the buccal aspects. These are the areas where a cuspid rise will be established. A small piece of wax is softened and placed on the pattern in the areas marked for cuspid guidance. The cuspid guidance wax is fused to the wax pattern. The surface of the cuspid guidance wax is softened. The wax up of the bite plane is placed in the mouth and the jaws brought together in centric relation. From this position, the pathways for cuspid guidance are generated into the wax pattern with light protrusive and lateral movements. The wax up is removed from the mouth and inspected. The cuspid guidance in the wax is noted. The steepness of the cuspid guidance is reduced carefully. This area of the wax is re-softened. Protrusive and lateral movements are again registered. The refined movement patterns in the wax are smooth and well-defined. The palatal aspect of the wax is carved to allow space for the tongue. However, sufficient bulk is retained to prevent fracture of the appliance. After the palatal surface of the wax is made smooth, excess bulk on the buccal side is removed. The wax is sealed to the cast. The entire wax pattern must be sealed in this fashion. The pattern for the bite plane is complete. Note the even imprint for all the mandibular teeth in the wax.
Note the cuspid guidance on both sides. There is a two millimeter distance between the imprints of the lower incisor teeth and the palatal shelf on the bite plane. The wax up is now ready to be processed in heat cured clear acrylic. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu/license.